Hey traders, welcome to a new Sierra chart guide tutorial video. Uh, this is going to be a pretty quick one. It's very simple, but um, <clears throat> this topic came up because one of my uh, subscribers on the channel uh, asked me about my charts that I use on my daily analysis and how I had my volume profile set up where I have the volume profile, but it had a black border on it. And I'm just going to go over and explain how you can do this in Sierra chart yourself and how I do it. So if I go, let's say, to just any random chart, let's say a five minute chart, you can see this is how like a basic volume profile that I would have would look like where I have my value area. I like to use a dark gray color and then the outside value. That means the other 32 percent of the volume because this remember i always use 68 percent for valley area so the rest of the 32 would be outside and so i always like to use these colors personally but sometimes like for example in these areas it's a little bit hard to distinguish the high volume nodes between all the candles and everything but i don't want to use very dark colors on my volume profile so what I've done now, which I don't have it on this chart book. This is just sort of like a practice chart book I use to make tutorials here for YouTube and stuff. But what I have on my actual charts is what I'm going to show you how to make, which is a volume profile with a border. OK, and if you haven't done so, please make sure to subscribe, hit thumbs up and check out my course page and website if you're interested in more details. And remember, all my day trading uh, students from my order flow and volume profile course will get my full Sierra chart template as well. So I have here a 60 minute chart and all I'm going to do is take the volume profile drawing tool if you go to tools and you go here zero it says draw volume profile in order to use this you need to have an advanced package on sierra so you need to have like five or eleven if you have the basic you're not going to have the drawing tool but you can still go to studies just go to volume by price which this is basically a volume profile you're going to add it and then you're going to apply it and then you're going to have to go into settings and you're going to have to you know set from a start date time to an end time or if you want a daily one then you can just put multiple profiles based on fixed time etc but you're just going to have to do all the steps manually but if you have the advanced package, let's remove this. You just go to tools, click on draw volume profile. Let's say I'm going to put it from here. I'm going to drag it all the way to the end. So I have my volume profile here. Now, when you put yours, it's probably going to look different because I've already saved this to the settings that I like, which in this case, if I go to analysis studies, let's get this out of the way. I highlight volume profile and I click settings and you can see I'm not going to go through all of this but if you want you can just pause the video and check and uh, what I have but it's basically a profile 68% value area I don't have highlighted the point of control of value area high and low but I mean it's pretty obvious just from the edges here and point of control would obviously be here in the furthest out point and this is the important thing to take note of um, this right here draw method volume bars draw method you can see i have it selected as filled volume bars there's different types of this if i put volume profile only it would look like this if I put hollow, well, it will look the same, I guess. And if I put hologram, it looks like this. So what I do now, 
And I didn't invent this. This is actually a friend of mine that I had a trading friend that I saw that he did it and I asked him and I thought it was pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this profile here, set as filled volume bars under subgraphs. You can see here, this is what I use to color. Valley area, I use sort of a darker gray and volume bars outline and fill color which would be all this area outside of value would be a lighter gray, okay? And so let's just click OK. And now what I do to make a border is go back to your studies, go back to your volume profile here. Oh, and just another, just a quick note. Whenever you have a study and you customize it to however you want, you can click right here, set defaults, and that way the next time you use it is going to remember everything that you set. So that's why when I did my drawing, my profile came just like this because that's how I had it set default to save it. If you put reset defaults, it's just going to go back to however uh, Sierra has it by default. Okay, so now go to your volume profile that you just made, click it, and then just click duplicate. And now you're going to have two of them. Click apply. Now you're going to see that you notice it got a little bit darker because now you have one on top of the other. Like if I put this and I put hide, now we have one. If I hide this one, now it disappears. And if I enable both of them, now we have one on top of the other, but they're identical. So what we're going to do now is go to the one that we made a clone of, the second one. Go to settings. And if you want to distinguish them, under short name, you can just put whatever you want here so you can distinguish it. So normally what I would put, I would just put VP hologram. Okay, I like to write that. And now we're going to go down to the volume bars draw method. And instead of filled, just choose hologram click apply. So now it looks, we got what we wanted, but it's like a light gray color, which is not ideal. So what I do now is I just go to subgraphs where I can set all the colors. And right here, this two settings, volume bars and volume bar outline fill and valley area. I just go and I set everything to black. This is again my personal choice, black, visible, solid, and width, I want one. I want it to be thin. And then in valley area, same thing. I choose black, visible. This is set a dash. I'm going to put it as a solid line and a width of one. And I click apply. And there you have it. And again, you know, if you don't want it to be so intense like black, I don't know, maybe we can just make it like a very dark gray, for example. Like here, let's just do like a dark gray. If you don't want it to be like that in your face, like dark. Okay, right there. So click OK. And that's pretty much it. Now you have it there. You have two volume profiles. They're exactly the same, but the first one is going to be all the filled volume bars. And then the second one is going to be a border hologram that goes around the whole volume profile. And obviously, you know, they need to match over here, especially under the settings maximum volume width percentage. This has to be the same for both because if not, one is going to be sticking out longer than the other. So just make sure the width percentage is the same for both. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can set a volume profile 
and put a nice border of whatever color you want around it. Or, you know, there's the option too. Some people, in some cases, I like to only have a hologram so I can just hide the other one. And you can just leave the hologram and that's pretty much what the border will look like on its own. Or you can put both of them, okay? So, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this little tip of how I like to set my volume profile so they look really nice and sharp with very clear edges so I can identify all my high volume and low volume notes. And that's pretty much it. Thank you all. Make sure again to subscribe, hit thumbs up and notifications. And uh, yeah, check out the website. Follow me on Twitter. And for more details, again, on all my trading strategies, you can check out my link in the description for my courses. Okay, have a great weekend and I will see you in the next video.